Bienvenuti, amici italiani. I'm so happy to introduce now my new book, Linguaggio di Dio. And this is a book about God and describes a lot of aspects of God. And I start in this book about to tell you something, how I came to about thinking about God, how I came on the path and how I found the courage to speak about God. But to be honest, it's not so easy to think and to write a book about God because you always have in your mind, am I able enough? Am I humble enough? Um, can I really do this? And I describe my path and I describe some persons or personalities who helped me and encouraged me while I was reading their books or um, I was in contact with them um, to find more and more a way to figure out what is God in my life. And in this book, um, there are 12 questions about God, 12 questions from several things. First of all, um, about health, money, relationship, and um, more deeper questions, philosoph philosophy questions. And one of the most interesting questions I found out um, is the question, what can I do for God? And this is an interesting question because um, God is omnipotent, God can do everything, God has everything. And what can I or what can we human beings really do for somebody who has everything and needs nothing? Um, in the opposite, we ask God for help and what can we do for God? This is one of these questions. And I would really encourage you not to expect that this is a book you can read from the first to the last page in several hours. It's more a book um, to work on it. It's more a book which guides you in a process, um, maybe into your fears and your questions you have about God. But I really hope um, that you find a lot of answers you have. And in this book is a little secret because um, I put several things on the top of the chapters, um, short phrases from the German poet Schiller, from a Mendelssohn oratory, um, from Mozart's magic flute. And it seems to be a little secret why is this part or why these sentences are chosen for the several um, chapter. And if you meditate on this, on, on the lines I put before the chapter and the contents of the chapter, you really find a deeper level of, of the things which are written. And this was for me a, um, a very interesting um, experience because um, the book was always ready, uh, already f uh, finished. And uh, when it was finished, um, the guidance told me, that, okay, please put some sentences from other parts on it. And I did it. And first I asked myself how to do it and why should I do it? Then I meditated, then I thought about it. And this brought me really on a deeper and very intense level. And with this book, I hope it's written in a very good and open-minded way. And this is a book not for persons who already know everything. Everything. This is a book for persons who really want to open their mind, who really want to have a new experience and really want to start a journey to find God in themselves, in her heart and in her brain. And um, what my wishes for you with Linguaggio di Dio is that you find a deeper level and a lot of joy with God in your heart and in your brain and in your thinking and in your feelings. Thank you and have fun and blessings with this book. Grazie.